So, Boat Orgu is giving the Gao Ranger a bit of a problem. He's just not going away. You know, he's just always there. He won't go away. And so Gao Blue starts having these visions of the Spotted Spear, whatever the heck that means. And then when Gao Blue was confronted alone by Boat Orgu, he used a crane during the battle, which helped him gain an edge. And then later on, when the Gao Ranger put their power animals together to form Gao King, the crane suddenly comes alive and becomes Gao Giraffe. How about that? So Gao Blue becomes the master of Gao Giraffe. Because of how he transforms, Gao Giraffe is actually quite flexible. Head can turn side to side. Not too much, though, because of how the, I don't know, the back of his head, his jaw, I guess, bumps into the back of his neck. So he can't really turn. Like that's, that's about the limit sideways. It, it actually is pretty nice, but he does, does his head really need to turn any more than that? His head can also turn up and down. Gao Giraffe is actually one of the few power animals that e even though it has a you know a mouth it, you know it's screwed in place uh, the mouth does not open so eh okay the antlers and the tail are PVC everything else is ABS and because of the transformation like I just said uh, he can actually pose in a lot of nice ways it's it's interesting the the front legs ratchet quite nicely you know every 45 degrees but the back legs only ratchet every what was that every 135 135 degrees something like that and the tail's just this floppy affair okay whatever but you do get some nice posability out of them and again all the posability you see on here are transformation joints unfortunately at this time I don't have a jewel ken so I can't really demonstrate how this works a little bit of trivial matter here gow draft was actually one of the power animals that I bought mint condition so it's pretty nice to be able to have the whole thing in a box in a box actually isn't too bad anyways I'm getting off topic uh, as I described the uh, jewel Ken comes with well as I didn't describe the jewel Ken comes with five crystals about yay big the the Gao crystals and for the jewel Ken when you buy it you get the basic five totem power animals you get the lion, the eagle, the shark, the bison, and the tiger. Well, for all of the accessory power animals, you get these things. And this is, because I got it mint in box, I got gow drafts. That is, and what you would do is you'd, you'd open up one of the, the, the gow jewels. You open it up and stick this inside, and then you can stick the uh, gow giraffe-inspired uh, Gao Jewel into the Jewel Ken. So the whole thing's made out of PVC. I'm trying to keep this in focus. I have to autofocus these before I uh, start recording. It's actually pretty nice. It's it's it, it's simple. You know, it's it's not meant to be super detailed, but it does have details, which I don't think you can really see on the uh, video here. In ways, yeah, it's really tiny. It's 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 not even an inch in diameter. So, yeah, it's real tiny, and there it is. You won't see me demonstrate this until the day that I get a jewel Ken. So, enjoy the view. And now for the primary function of Gao Giraffe. And no, Gao Giraffe cannot ride atop Gao Shark as that is it's just not possible the tail is re really the only big negative thing I have with uh, with the whole toy it sits in there it it folds up in easily enough but it it also falls out real easily so if it falls out there's not much you can do about it right there and then you take this accessory helmet the whole thing's made of clear PVC. It is soft. It is squishy. And you see squishy right there. And then what you do is you stick that on there. And it's not going to click into place. It's held in place with friction. Supposedly the chin of Gow Giraffe holds it in place, but I don't really believe that's possible. 
and it also comes off easily enough. So it it doesn't it doesn't just you know fall off at the drop of a dime like that. But you know it's you, you don't have to fight it or anything like that. And then we take Gao King, take off the left arm, just put the shark off to the side, and then we simply stick that on there like so, and we get. Gao King Spear. Posability for Gao King Spear isn't really that big a deal. Nothing particularly special. We lose a bit of the elbow joint, but we get this pretty cool spotted spear. It's a spotted spear. In case you're wondering, this kind of crescent moon shaped uh, effect only appears in the show when the uh, neck thrust attack is, is being performed. What? What attack? Neck thrust? What does that mean? Well, neck thrust means you push on this little black button here and something cool happens. Press on the button and how about that? You get the neck thrust attack. By the way, it's kind of nice the way that flips down like that automatically. And by the way, this bar here, die cast metal. How about that? That's really nice. Oh yeah, by the way, the neck can turn all the way around. So that's pretty nice. I mean, it, it's not just that it's a, a a spear or that you know it's just this long arm with a kind of arrowhead thing on it, but it actually has the punch out feature on it. It's it's a harmless. Oh yeah, that that's really the only thing you have to worry about is the the head doesn't lock in place, but. I suppose it's just to prevent kids from getting hurt, but when does that ever stop them? So anyways, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's, it's not it's not a powerful spring. Actually, I'm a, I'm a little disappointed. It's, it's a little on the soft side as far as how much power is behind the neck thrust, but the fact that it can do it and it actually reaches the end of the track, that's pretty awesome. Were I to use this a bit more, I'm sure the spring would wear out over time, but it's a pretty cool little feature. And even though you can see the arm is is a lot bigger, uh, okay, the, the spear arm is a lot bigger than with um, than the the left arm is, but you don't have to worry about it tipping over. I mean, the only diecast content is in is in the neck there. So, Gao King spear, not bad, not bad. Orange, brown, really? I mean, they've used brown before with the cockpit canopies of other mecha, but orange? Really? Hmm. Gao Elephant brought us that kind of metallic blue coloring, which I can see that being used in the future. That That's not too bad, but orange? Well, I suppose they've used up all their green, blue, yellow, red, gold, black. I know I'm repeating a few there. So I guess they need to expand their color somehow. I've never had an Orange Ranger before except in Battle Fever J, but that was like 20 years ago. Anyways, the only kind of limits on posability is the fact that you can't really do it uh, posing with... Uh, you can't really pose it and and then leave it on a shelf. I mean, you can do this. You can raise one leg. And that's it. You can't you can't raise one of the front legs, and that's why. There, I just demonstrated for you. The other thing you can't do, put the neck forward and expect it to stay upright. You can hold it in your hand and do that, but you can't set it on a tabletop and expect it to behave. So, having it pose, really, the all you can really do with it is this, and maybe tilt the head down and have it look at you in kind of strange fashion. So, Kind of a regal looking animal, but it's a little on the difficult side to pose. Desktop posability, as I just demonstrated, it's a little on the lame side. The mouth can't open the clothes, but that doesn't bother me too much. And the tail, which pops downwards way too easily for my taste. That's really the only negative part about it. One quick thing before I close this out. The only difference between Gao Giraffe and the Giraffe Wild Zord from Power Rangers Wild Force is some of the brown spots are missing and the silver is missing from the front of the legs. I think the silver is missing there. 
and then the gold around all four hooves is missing as well. So really you're not missing much as far as coloring goes. Okay, the the die cast metal is still in there. Way to go Bandai America. And that's about it. So you're getting essentially the same toy. But hey, I'm here to promote the Japanese version, not the American version. And so, this is AV Unit 4A for CollectionDX.com, signing off.